This is an update for this uh, Bahakoyo project. And I decided to have some fun uh, with this uh, Bahakoyo and use it in a Begini SSG. So uh, I have here my mini Bahakoyo and I have a two inch and half cylinder magnet here. And I'm gonna spin it and see how it performs. I changed it a little bit within the circuit and instead of using a resistor, I decided to put uh, this incandescent bulb uh, 12 volts and this represents actually uh, the energy that is being wasted because it's the induction that goes to the base volt and the base and as well the induction that, that comes from the primary coil and here I have uh, this neon bulb to represent the energy spike getting almost nothing. Well, there is an uh, optimal spot here to increase the RPM with no loads. I put a little up both the other fire, the RPM increase greatly and it reduce, reduces the amount of energy being wasted in the, in the trigger part of the beginning circuit. To try and increase too much the waste, the energy being wasted by the circuit increase and the energy spike increase as well. second test I'm gonna use this satellite rotor and see how well they synchronize with the primary rotor. So let's begin. Well they are now synchronized and spinning and well there is a, of course there is a maximum distance that, that I can keep this rotor from the primary rotor keep this synchronized. But there are other things that are interesting as well. I can for example put turn 9 degrees and still synchronize it. Turn 108 degrees and still synchronize it. And right now uh, those rotors are spinning in the opposite direction. I can even for example put this 9 degrees in this way and still synchronize it. Of course that the building probably is getting the way because the building can interact, interact with, the, with the magnets. And I can even, for example, dance this rotor over here, keeping a certain distance, and this still works. It seems that the axis of the satellite, satellite rotor doesn't matter too much. Of course that there is a, some fluctuation in the input current. But, well, it's not too much, just some uh, 20 milliamps. Well, I believe that's it for this test. Let's see the maximum distance that I can keep the synchronized. Here it's working. Now it disincronizes. 